So the next word is ain, lam, and mim. This means to know. Ain, lam, mim means to know. Okay? And this is three words, so it is called babe fa'ala. Okay? If we add one more letter, which is the shadda on the middle letter, it's called babe fa'ala. So this word will become allama. Allama means to teach. So the difference between these two verbs is in three letters it is means to know. Alim is the one who knows something. Okay? But when you use the Baba Fa'ala, which means you just add it, shut down the middle letter, it becomes Allama. Allama means to teach. Mu'allim is a teacher. Mu'allim is a teacher. So that comes from this word. Okay? Ta'alim comes from this. Ta'alim means teaching. Okay? But alim and ilm, ilm means knowledge. Alim means knowledgeable person. They come from this, this bab, fa'ala. Okay? But whenever in teaching, two people are involved at least. You have to have a teacher and you have a, to have a student. So that is the word for use for this allama teaching. Okay. So this this means teaching or to teach. Okay. But if I put a ya in the beginning with a dhamma, yo, and allim, allimo. You allimo means he will teach by putting a ya in the beginning it becomes present tense and future tense okay. so yo allimo means one of the meaning says that he will teach Two connotations. <coughs> the Lam God is Kasra and Mim God is Dhamma. From Al and Dhamma. Yeah, yo, al, the grammar for this is different. Okay. Grammar for each Bab is different. This is only the grammar for the first Bab, Fa'ala. Okay. Um, the grammar for this is Fa'ala fa yo Fa'ilo. So this is at the scalar yo Fa'ilo. Okay which is yo allimo he will teach and the word after that is whom whom means them so he will teach them okay so they are making dua to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, ibrahim and ismail alayhi salam that o oh, our rab send a prophet among these people and they, these people means the people of the around the kaaba and the makkah and he will re recite to them your ayahs, your verses. And what else he will do? Yo al kitaba. He will teach them the book. Al kitaba means the book. The book is Quran. So dua is they are making dua, and the result of the dua will show up after several thousand years. Yeah. Because Prophet yeah. will come. Awesome. At least, at least 2400 years have gone when, when Prophet was appointed as the Prophet in that area. So for 2400 years roughly there was no messenger in that area. Okay. Uh, Ibrahim only got a few pages, they're called Sohofe Ibrahim. Sohofe Ibrahim, yes. So he knew that he will get a bigger book for some reason. Right, but, but that's it. So, Kitab Sofa Ibrahim was few pages as you said, but not the whole book. So, but he is making dua about several things. First that, he should be a messenger. Second thing that he will be reciting 
your verses. Third thing that he will be doing, he will be teaching the book to the pupil. Mm -hmm. And then he will be teaching the hikmat, which is the wisdom. And then he will do a purification of these people, yuzakki him. So if they are making this dua, which will be the responsibilities of this prophet or this messenger who is going to come in the future. Not just for the absolute Muhammad Yeah, prophet. All these sifat, yeah, the these are yeah, holy prophet. These are all the sifat of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi and all the duties and responsibilities that he did. Okay? So, yu'allimuhumul kitaba and he will teach them what is he going to teach al kitab the book yeah. and when it is al kitab means that it is quran specific al kitab the quran okay And then the next word is from ha, kaf, and meme. And this has several meanings. To judge or to be wise or few other meanings. But the word which comes out is hikmatun. Hikmatun. Hikmatun means wisdom. Hikmatun means wisdom. Hikmat, when we stop, it says hikmat means wisdom. To be wise. So, not only that he will teach them the book, but he will, because of his teaching, the people will become wise. Okay? So, he will teach them the wisdom. Al hikma, when you put an al, then it is a da. And the wisdom. He will teach, he will teach, so this yu'allim, teaching will apply to book and hikmah, both. He will teach them the book and he will teach them how to be wise, intelligent, understanding. Okay? The next word is, wayuzakkihim. So the root letters are za, kaf, and ya. This is again belongs to three letters, fa'ala. And this means to clean. Okay. But if we make again the same Baabe Fa'ala, just put a shut down the middle letter. This will become Zakka. Zakka means to purify. This means to purify. <laughs> purify means you are cleaning everything else. You are, you are cleaning everything. You are making everything pure. Okay? For example, if people are committing shirk, they are worshipping idol, you bring them out of that and they now are pure. You are doing worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which means you have done the purification of their hearts and their actions and their deeds. Okay? Not just outside cleaning, but purifying all of it. Okay? So, the word then is to be, Yuzakki means, he will purify. Just, just like, Yuallimu, Yuzakki. Okay? From this word, if I put a Ya, the grammar will be same. Yuzakki, and who means them? 
युजकी हिम ही विल प्यूरिफाई देम ओके सो इट विल बी ही विल एंड ही विल प्योरिफाई That means when many many hundred years have gone, the people have started committing shirk and idol worshiping. He will purify them back to the worship of one Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. You zakki him. Okay. So these are all the duas that they are making. Now this is almost like a, a page before these. end of the first juz of the quran of surah al baqarah as you continue like 10 or 12 ayats more in the surah al sufaha the second page then allah subhanahu wa taala talks about prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam allah subhanahu wa taala so this dua ends here ibrahim sallallahu alaihi wasallam story ends here but going little further allah subhanahu wa taala talks about prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and that says kama arsalna feekum rasulam minkum so we have sent a prophet to you yatlu alaikum ayatina he is reciting to you our verses wa yuzakki him he is purifying you wa yuzakki kum he is purifying you wa yuallimukum alkitab and he is teaching you the book wal hikmata and the wisdom so allah subhanahu wa taala is at telling the people of makka and around that now we have sent a messenger among you and who is doing all these things okay all these things are count one at a time except very interestingly in this doa the order is such that ibrahim al salam is saying that first he will teach the book then he will teach the wisdom and then he will purify okay when allah subhanahu wa taala responds in, in the other ayahs which i just recited one order is changed there okay the order is that wa yu wa yuzakkihim comes here instead of there so allah says first he will purify you then he will teach you the book then he will teach you the wisdom which is very logical where is that hmm? where is that it's in the sayatul sufaha about 15 <laughs> ayat for you <laughs> if you are not purified you cannot if you are not that. purified first then you teaching a book and and that will not help you so allah subhanahu wa taala puts that in the correct order okay so so it's a very beautiful response of the dua and we must tell allah yeah okay ah Then Allah, then Ibrahim alayhi salam and Ismail alayhi salam praise Allah subhanahu wa taala by saying that indeed you are. Inna ka means indeed you are. Okay. Indeed you are. You al aziz and al hakim. Al aziz means the who has all the powers. and al hakim is one who has all the wisdom so these are the asmaul husna of allah subhanahu wa taala and at the end of the dua ibrahim and ismail alayhi salam are glorifying allah subhanahu wa taala by saying that you are the powerful and wise you have all the wisdom and you have all the power okay so this is where their dua ends okay this ayat uh, at the end of this ayat ibrahim alayhi salam made several duas while he he was building the kaaba along with ismail and that's where his dua ends okay the next ayah allah subhanahu wa taala is talking about ibrahim alayhi salam in the next ayah allah is talk allah subhanahu 